Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Gonzalez. I'm so excited because today we're going to be talking about shapes. So before we start talking about that, I want to ask you, uh, what is the difference between a 2D shape and a 3D shape? Take some time to think about it. Think, think, think. A 2D shape and a 3D shape. A 2D shape is flat and a 3D shape isn't. A 3D shape actually takes up space. So today we're gonna to talk about 2D shapes. Okay, not 3D, just 2D. So before we get to our chart here, I wanna talk about hexagons because we didn't really get a chance to talk about hexagons too much before we left school. So in our chapter nine math book, it says chapter nine at the top. If you turn to page 393, we have a yellow hexagon here. And I know that it's a hexagon because I see six sides and I see six vertices. So let's review really quick. So sides are like the edges of the shape. So this is a side, this is a side. Vertices or vertex is a corner. So another word for vertex is a corner. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So I see six sides and I see six vertices. Vertex just means one. Vertices means more than one. So there's more than one vertice. Vertex. So let's count together. Count with me. I'm going to get a marker. Let's count the sides. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six sides. Now let's count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six vertices. Good job. Let's see. Oh, actually, on the next page, it asks us, how many vertices do we have? And I already wrote down six. There's six vertices. We just counted them, and there's six sides. That's how we know that it's a hexagon. Okay. Now, here, I have a chart that I made really quick. Sorry. And we're going to fill it in with all the things that we know about shapes. So the first shape that I see here is, what is this? A circle, right. So I see a circle here, this is the shape. Here is the name, I wrote the name down of the shape, so this says circle. And over here it says description. So here we're gonna write down, we're gonna describe the shape, okay? So here I have a blank, uh, blank line, this says sides. Here's a blank line and this says vertices. Can you guys see it? Okay, good. So the first one I see is a circle, circle, blue circle, the name circle, and here's asking for the sides and vertices. So let's figure that out really quick. How many sides, how many sides does a circle have? Do you guys see any sides? I don't. All I see is a curve. So a curve means that it's round. I see it, I see it round right there. So I don't see any sides. I'm going to put a zero right there. Now it's asking for vertices. How many vertices do you guys see in a circle? I don't see any, so I'm going to write zero. So a circle has zero sides and zero vertices, but it does have a curve. Good. Okay, let's look at the next one now. The next one is a square. So I see a square here, a red square. This is the word square, S-Q-U-A-R-E. This says square. How many sides do we see? Think about it. Look at this square for a second. Just think about it. So I see one, two, three, four. I see four sides. So I'm going to write four right here. The sides in a square are very interesting because all sides are equal. They're the same length. These two sides aren't longer than these two sides. They're all the same. That's what makes it a square because all four sides are equal. Now let's look at the vertices, which are the corners. I see one here, one, two, three, four. How many vertices? Four, good job. Good, so that's our square. Now let's look at, the, what is this called? A triangle, good job. So let's look at the triangle. This is the word triangle, T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E. Let's look at the number of sides. 
look at it really quick. Let's see, now let's count, ready? Here's one, two, three. How many sides in a triangle? Three sides. Good job. Now it's looking for vertices. How many corners do you see? How many vertices? Count with me. One, two, and three. Good job. Down here we have an orange rectangle. This word here says rectangle. R-E-C-T-A-N-G-L-E. -E. That's a long word. Rectangle. How many sides do we are in a rectangle? Let's count. Count with me. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Four sides in a rectangle. How many vertices, how many corners do you see? One, two, three, four. Four vertices in a rectangle. So look at this here. Four sides, four sides. Four vertices, four vertices. It's really similar to a square, right? Squares and rectangles are really similar. What's the difference? Look at these two shapes. You see the square, you see the rectangle. What's the difference between those two shapes? Hmm. I see that these two sides, uh, yeah, these two sides right here, they're shorter than these here. So these sides are not equal. These sides are equal. That's why this is a square and this is a rectangle. Because rectangles do not have equal sides all, all around. If it did have equal sides, it would be a square. But this one doesn't, so it is a rectangle. Okay, last one down here. Last one down here. This is a hexagon. This is a hexagon, a purple hexagon. So. This is the word hexagon right here, H-E-X-A-G-O-N, hexagon. Let's count the sides of the hexagon. You ready? So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. A hexagon has six sides. Now we gotta count the vertices, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six, six vertices, six corners in a hexagon. Good job, boys and girls. I want to show you guys something really quick. So I went around my apartment, around my house, to see what I, see if I could find any shapes. And I did find some. So for circle, I found two things. This is called a, co a coaster. It's where I put my drinks on so my table won't get messed up. So this is a coaster. And look at it. It's a perfect circle. See that? A perfect circle. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> but it's a perfect circle. I also have this candle here. And the lid, if I open it, it's also a perfect circle. You see that? So that's circle. What's the next shape? Let's see. Square. So for square, I found this little, it's a little makeup palette. So... But I found that when I close it, it is a, a perfect square. It, I know it's a square because it has all equal sides. That's a square. The next shape, triangle. I had such a hard time finding something that was a triangle. The only thing I could find, I was eating pineapple today. And look at the way it's cut up. It's cut up. Like in a triangle shape, you see? It has three sides and three vertices. This is my pineapple. <laughs> That's the only triangle I can find. This is, uh, the next one's a rectangle. So there's lots of rectangles everywhere. So for example, this big piece of paper is actually a rectangle because these sides over here, they're longer than these sides. So this paper is actually a really big rectangle. I also found this little Universal Studios card, a ticket. It's a rectangle. I know it's a rectangle because these sides are longer than these sides. The sides are not equal. And it has four vertices. So that's another rectangle. And our last shape is a hexagon. So it was actually kind of hard for me to find something that was shaped like a hexagon, but I did find something. So this is my one of my favorite hot chocolates. It's called Abuelita Hot Chocolate. 
And when I flip it over like this, you can actually see that it's the top is a hexagon. So let's make sure it's a hexagon though. Let's count, ready? Let's count the sides first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let's count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I know it's a hexagon because it has six sides and six vertices. Okay, and that's all I found, but I know that there's so many more things like all around me, so many more shapes all around me. And I know that you guys have some shapes around you too. So if you guys want to look around your apartment or look around your house to see if you, if you guys see any shapes, you can take a picture or take a video. You can actually send it to Mrs. Bigby or you can send it to me so we can talk about it, about the shapes that you guys see because they're everywhere. So look, just even the bottom of this little pail it's a circle. So they're everywhere. So if you guys see any, you guys can make it like a little scavenger hunt to go ahead and uh, look for different shapes. Okay, that's all I have for today. Bye, boys and girls.